that's one big battle royale we just had, except Caster. But no one really died. It was super hyped, though. I think that the biggest winner is... Is it just Ryder? I know that he leaked his identity, but I don't think he really cares. And it just shows his confidence. And because his Noble Phantasm is probably so OP, it doesn't really matter. I think the biggest losers are Gilgamesh and Lancer. Because they both used up a command spell, and I think that's way more significant than an identity being revealed. You can only use three per Grail War. They've already used up both. Now, Saber also got nicked in the wrist with that cursed Golden Spear. So that injury is going to persist until we take care of Lancer, which sucks. Kadia Berserker? He was just flexing. Berserker versus Archer was pretty sick. Didn't realize that whatever he touches also turns into Noble Phantasm. And in a way, I guess it kind of does counter Gilgamesh, which is insane to think about. But that's pretty much what's going on. I wanted Kiritsugu to do more underhanded tactics, but unfortunately, all he was doing was just... <sighs> Target, 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 and we didn't get a chance to do some heinous shit that I'm expecting him to do. But hey, maybe today's episode he will. Let's begin today's reaction. Car? <laughs> you know what? I'm all for ID having fun. Like, it's like she's like stuck as a homunculi at the Ainsburn Castle forever. And this is like one of the few times, probably her last time she'll ever have some freedom. So like, her just driving like this and fucking shit up, I'm all for it, man. <laughs> Damn. Okay. She going 150? Around corners? Dude, she going 150 doing Tokyo Drift right now. What the hell? She is a professional driver. Dangerous? More dangerous than this? This is more dangerous. What would happen if Aide accidentally crashed the car and Saber got injured in the car crash? Would she just die? How would that work? Like, imagine, like, Aide just, like, goes off the cliff and Saber doesn't go back to the spirit form. And in her physical form, they all just crash and die. Like, is that possible? Uh oh. Caster! Caster! Aide Spear. Bluebeard. Yeah. Because <laughs> last episode, we ended up with him looking into the magic orb of a face that looks like a yawn, right? Saber face. So he's here for Saber. Damn. The car door is open sideways. That's fancy. Oh, so courteous. I don't know. It's just like two girls that are like, Man, what the fuck is this? And you're like, Welcome, my holy virgin. It's just <laughs> not, a, not, a, not a good intro. Nope. Delusional fam, bro. Get back in the car, bro. You're about to get stabbed. Run. <laughs> Full name. Damn, he just revealed his full name. In the art, you know, the Holy Grail War, no one does that except Ryder. Because he just wants a huge war, right? He just wants a huge battle with everyone. A noble, righteous one without hiding shit. This dude's just simping. He's simping so hard. Please, my OnlyFans name is Gilles de Rice. You sent me plenty of DMs. Yeah. I ain't Jean. At this point, would it be a meta joke to blame Uchi for this? Because he is the artist for Fate series, right? And because of his iconic saber face, which is plastered onto many different characters, Bluebeard right now is mistaking Jean for Saber, but this is beyond just like lore, you know? It's like literally the artist. This is an artist issue, bro. King Arthur. Okay, we'll trade names. There it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Artoria, not Jean. Jean is the ruler class girl, bro. I'm Saber. 
我が潤しの乙女に狩りはどこまで残酷な仕打ちを This guy is fucking crazy, but we know he's insane. We know he's insane. We've seen his intro, bro. <laughs> 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 It just started. Gaslighting. Save brain fucking around. Invisible sword. Oh, armor up. So, I'm going to go to the next one. He is so convinced that it's John, huh? What does preparations mean? Good night, my holy virgins. Well then. That was fucking creepy. <laughs> Just dude shows up out of fucking nowhere. Calls you a holy virgin, calls me a different girl. Says, I'm gonna free you. This guy is insane, but we know he's insane. So his obsession with Jean, he will not, he will refuse to believe this is anyone but Jean. And next time we meet him, he's got the preparation, so I'm not sure if we should have let him go here, but... Alright. Mm -hmm. Good call. Why? Mm. We're nerfed. Saber's nerfed. We need to take out Lancer immediately. That Lancer, like, if we take him out, I bet the seal will be gone. Like, until then, Saber is what? Basically 50%. Is it accurate to say 50% of the power? I mean, only the left arm can't be. Well, it's the left thumb, right? But still, she said that the left arm is fucking sealed, so. Nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally crucifying. I'm not sure if this is a kid or a young lady, but. Scalpel? Uh, that's a girl. Oh, there's multiple kids. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what kind of sacrifice ritual are we doing? Ma, okay, Ridana. Yo, he's not in a good mood, huh? Yeah, that's the one. Man, when he said I there, it really did feel like Betrigus moments, man. Crucifying these children with bolt on screws is not greater depravities. How more can we get? Like, how more degenerate can we get right now? Like, what could you possibly do? Because, like, I see four kids. The, the, the other kid just got his face bashed in because Gilles is fucking mad. And you tell me we need to commit more acts of atrocities? Okay. Sure, bro. More killing. I guess so. Okay. More sacrifices. Ryunosuke just gets it. 11 in the cells? You got 11 kids? He, he spent all that time. <laughs> he spent all that time correcting her positioning of the fingers and stuff, right? No, you gotta move your hand like that. No, you're not doing it right. And he fixed it. And then Gilda showed up and bashed the head in. So it's like, oh man, that was a waste. It's kind of insane how like that's what's bothering him right now. They are so beyond crazy. That, like, this is so normalized. They're like, oh man, that was a waste of a kid. Yeah. Breaking news, what's going on? Explosion. Our battles. Our battle last episode. <laughs> Archibaldi. I hope there's a moment in the show where he loses his hair and then I can yell bald at him, but that's probably not gonna happen. If it did, oh, that's gonna be the greatest call out ever, but probably not. <laughs> He didn't make you waste it. You literally wasted it yourself. You didn't have to do it. It wasn't like Tokyomi where Gilgamesh 
That's like he was forced to do it. Lancer? Nah. Yes. Knight's Code. Honor. Honor of the duel. Sanctity of the duel. ミンマスター。ソフィーを今さら高々セーバー一人につい何を吐き違えている吐き違えているのはあなたではなくてロードへ。ランサーはよくやったわ。ダヘルズ。間違いはあなたの上。アーチボールダズアグルイズザイズワ
countless demon lords we've witnessed, you know, get defeated after doing this shit. Tokiomi too. Tokiomi and Kaneth, they both have a wine glass like this. They're both going to lose, bro. Whenever you do this shit, you fucking lose. I've never seen someone succeed in an anime doing this shit. Okay, the building, I think, got evacuated. What? No, that's Kirisugu. What the hell? That's not you? So it was wife, okay. Kirisugu, what you doing? And the hotel? Damn, it, it worked. We didn't even need a disguise, bro. It's just Kirisugu just didn't even have a fucking mask on. Alright, the hotel employee's negligence is working in our favor. Okay. Oh, he's Maya. Oh my god, this might be what I was asking for the entire time, bro. The entire time I've been asking for Kiritsugu to do some fucking... I just want him to commit like a war crime, you know? Like, I've been waiting for him to do something. I think it's time. The building has been evacuated. Maya's ready. Kiritsugu's going in, bro. Let's go terrorism. Don't smoke, kids. Smoking is bad. But Kiritsugu looks so cool. Remember what he said? My perfect atelier. Every room is bugged with special magic. <laughs> no one can get me. Well, Kirisuku can just blow up the building. <laughs> what is your magic gonna do now? <laughs> okay. There, there's no way Kaneth goes down that easy though. God, he's so cool. He's still in there. Oh no, kids are crying! Yo! A future where nobody will have to ever cry like that. And here you have a child crying. While Kiritsugu walks away after blowing up the building. Kiritsugu, what about your dreams and ideals, bro? Oh shit. The kid, Kiritsugu, do something. <laughs> No, nope, don't care. Withdraw? Maya! Uh oh, I hear gunshots. Kide? There's one person that would, though. Kide versus Maya? What the fuck is he doing here? Kirisugu's secret lover. Bat bomb. What happened? What? I, I just saw a bomb with some kind of bomb. Sorry, bat with the bomb being thrown. Maya shows her cover. She shoots. What the fuck just happened? Kide is so far away. What just the hell happened? Is he moving at superhuman speed? Oh my god, he is. He just flashed up there. I didn't really see what deflected the gut. Like, like, he was there, then he disappeared. Yo, how strong is Kide actually? I mean, he is an executor, right? It was stated that he is an executor for the church, but I didn't think that he could, like, he could fight. I. He's a fucking Wolverine now. Damn, okay, I heavily underestimated Kide. I, I thought that like most people have just their servants to fight on be their behalf and Kiritsuko is special because he can fucking shoot people with guns and shit but like this dude is like a fucking superhuman fighter. Yo, yo what the church fucking feeding these kids? Yo, yo, these church executors are like super soldiers. Okay, Maya got away. Kiritsuko? Who threw that? Kitsuko. Yo, I was getting hyped for like Kaneth Archibald versus Kiritsugu, but like it's looking like Kide versus Kiritsugu might happen tonight. I'm not sure at this rate. That's right, we gotta be very secretive. Hmm? Oh, that's right, with ID and Saber stuff. Sleeping children. Wait. 
So, like, Ryunosuke has been just breaking into people's houses and, like, taking kids that's sleeping? Because, like, I was wondering, how the fuck are they kidnapping children so easily? But Bluebeard has magic. I'm sure they might just, like, walk up to kids in the playground and just, like, sleep. And then just, like, took them. But, damn. 15 kids. And they need more sacrifices. Mm. They don't care. Well, Caster thinks that he's already won the grail because he's so delusional that his wish of Jean being resurrected has come true. And now his goal is to what? Set some preparations to make sure that Saber realizes that she is Jean. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but yeah. Caster is like, he's not playing the war. He has this totally separate schizo plan happening right now. Yeah, dangerous combo, man. Wild card slot. I don't know. Why did the grill choose them, bro? Okay. His pride is actually going to make him act up. Send Gilgamesh. Would Gilgamesh do it, though? I don't think Gilgamesh would do it. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Resay, bro. Just minor rule changes are within my authority. Like, like this fucking referee, bro. It's just this is the most rigged shit ever. Just a minor rule. You literally are making six fucking <laughs> six people gang up on one person. Not not like I'm defending caster or anything, but like minor rules, bro. You changing the whole fucking game. <laughs> oh my. You know you know you know what? I'm surprised that Risei has only given Kirei only three command spells. Straight up. These dudes are cheating so much. Like, Kirei should have, like, an infinite command spell something. Like, the church, they're all fucking scheming cheaters. There is no way, right? Like, these dudes just don't give a fuck. We have faked our death. We're in the protection in the neutral zone. No one can hurt us. We don't even have one servant. We have like a hundred fucking motherfucking Hassans. Ricky, his dad is fucking changing the rules to get rid of one guy, bro. Like, what's the limits of what we can't do? Like, like, like when Kire runs out of command spells, Risei will fucking swipe his credit card and the same courts are going to come in and he's going to be able to refresh those fucking command spells, bro. Gilgamesh. Got a cool room. Wait, what'd he say? Despite being few in number, yours are of higher quality than those in Tokyomi's room. Hmm. What Gilgamesh think about Kirei? I think Gilgamesh has got it figured out. Gilgamesh has been drinking hard. <laughs> His greeting. Tokyomi, very careful person. <laughs> Swirl of the root. Remember, I want to see what is at the root or something. I thought that I supposed to just like root of magic to know like the truth, the origins of magic or some shit. Man, Gilgamesh without his hair waxed up is interesting, huh? <laughs> I don't know. He looks better this way. I'm not too sure if I like his spiky hair all up. Like this down, just a casual drip Gilgamesh. It's pretty cool. Escape to the world What? I see. The entire universe. Is this supposed to be imagery of the roots? I'm not sure. Is Gilgamesh out of his league right now? Or is he such a great being that he does... Like the root is like, in, like insignificant to Gilgamesh. I'm fine with spoilers. Don't give me details. But like, is the root that insignificant? Or has Gilgamesh actually surpassed that shit? Or, or is, is the root actually way more important than what Gilgamesh is? Like, even if he's not interested, it's way out of his reach? Okay, 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 okay. So he's just not interested in it, but it is significant. It's not a joke. It's like a huge deal. So like, what happens when you reach the root? Like, what does that mean? 
that you have understood the origins of magic, that you now understand everything. You have achieved enlightenment. You have transcended. You are now such a powerful magician because you've reached the root and nothing is impossible for you. You just become God. Is that what it is? Just access to powerful magic? Just magic with a capital M? <laughs> Okay, okay. World, world exterior, world interior. We mean that it has limitless potential to alter. What is the exterior in this context? Because he mentions world interior. Are, are we in the world? In, are, are we exterior, exterior as in like different realms, like hero experience and shit? Oh, no, man. Yeah. Ultra right wing. I love how we just keep getting zoned in more into Gilgamesh's glass and lights, and now it's all fucking right. So, Tokyo, me, ultra right wing, super conservative. conservative. He would definitely vote for Trump. Others generally seek benefits concerned with the world interior, the present world. Okay, okay. World interior is pretty much like what every normie kind of lives in. But the world exterior is this like crazy unknown vast shit and the root could be somewhere there. I don't know. Mm. And Gilgamesh's world interior. <laughs> That seems kind of like a, that, that, that seems like a, an insult. You're a king that rules over the vulgar Gilgamesh. Yo, Kiri is kind of just like talking shit to Gilgamesh, huh? Like Tokyomi just simps so hard. I wonder if Gilgamesh respects Kiri for this though. Based on the first impressions of Kiri and Gilgamesh interaction when he showed in, Gilgamesh says something that I didn't completely understand, but it made me feel like, oh. Maybe he thinks that Kire is a lot more interesting than Tokiomi. Yeah, what do you care about Kire? I love Gilgamesh, but I don't think he's gonna win because he too has a drink out of this wine cup. Like, again, I've never seen anyone drink from this cup and fucking win the whole thing. <laughs> Mages want to use the Holy Grail to reach the root. Because you can't access it normally unless you're special. And if you do reach it, you will die. Huh. Seems like that is the only way to reach the root, huh? <laughs> yeah, what does Kire want? Yeah, but like Ryunosuke, do you think Ryunosuke is worthy of it? What does it mean to be worthy of it? To be worthy of the grail? Ryunosuke? I don't... Think so if you're gonna try to approach this from someone with like morals and ethics to do good. So at the end of the day, the nature of the Grail seems sinister. Like, <laughs> yes, there's some righteous people, but quite often, like, think about it. Kiritsugu is a fucking terrorist. Ryunosuke is a serial killer. Kiritsugu is too. Tokiomi is an ultra right wing conservative dude trying to fucking. Prepare for the arms race by reaching the root and sold off his fucking daughter Sakura to the Matos. Kadia, I think, is one of the most genuinely good persons in this show that wants to do good, but he's just fucking warmed up. Waver, complete vanity. Like, pussy ass kid just wants personal acknowledgement. Uh, who else is there? Archibald, I don't think he's a really good person either, bro. And then Kire, like, every one of these candidates, I don't think are really, like, generally good people right like what does it mean worthy of it worthy of the grail it seems like we're just collecting all the pieces of shits to fucking fight amongst themselves i still think that this is what like tokiomi set up it just seems too much of a coincidence right i thought that episode one was heavily hinting when tokiomi also did not like answer back of like oh we're kind of cheating it's like why am i chosen right i feel like it was rigged it, it's got to be rigged, right? He's a blind template. Yeah, the opposite, right? Gilgamesh is a hedonist, just like me. I definitely am like Gilgamesh in terms of chasing 
superficial vanity, pleasures in life. But Kide, a devout man of the church, right, must uh, abstain. Uh, you, you know, you need to uh, restrain yourself and chase yourself from all these desires. Yes. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's the Bible telling you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What kind of philosophy? Uh, the church. They'll just like generalize an entire thing and deem you a sinner if you do something that they don't like to their narrative. So yeah, pleasure. I think Gilgamesh is 100% on point here. Hmm. Me too. Okay, it looks like Gilgamesh respects Kiri more than... Tokiomi, or at the very least, finds it more interesting. Kiri is very interesting. I have no idea what the dude's about. Seems like the Holy Grail War for Kiri is just an excuse to kind of like forget about his wife dying recently and he's just like throwing himself into a mission for the church, but is there really nothing you want? Part of me wants Gilgamesh to corrupt Kiri and make Kiri realize his own desires and ambitions and like figure something else out. Yo. <laughs> Gilgamesh and Kirei should just drink wine and get high in this place the entire time for the rest of the Holy Grail War. Fuck fighting. Let's just... He don't isn't him up, bro. <laughs> just... Just... <laughs> just get all the booze, get all the bitches, get all the good weed, bro. Just... <laughs> we, we, we just gonna party it up here, Kirei. Kirei needs to relax, bro. That's what Kirei needs. Kirei needs to party it up with Gilgamesh. Okay. Yes, sir. You have some liquor, Kire. ゆえつというのは魂の形だ。あるかないか知れないかを問うべきものだ。うん。綺麗。お前は未だ己の魂のあらわせなどと抜かすのは要するにそういうことだ。サーバントフズ。ダーン。サムサーヴェント。セイク
It's just you're mistaking it for John. So Saber right now has to deal with this fucking creep and apparently he's gonna go sacrifice more kids to figure some shit out. The preparations are being made between Ryunosuke and, you know, Caster. Caster is also super fucking tall, man. You see this shit? Oh my god. Yo, Caster is like, like if Ryunosuke is like 5'8", 5'9"? Yo, Caster is like fucking 7 foot. Put him in the fucking league, bro. Now, the Canis shit with his wife is hilarious. The wife is hot, but it looks like Canis is a bit of a masochist, huh? Like, Canis can't talk shit against the wife, and the wife just like hounds him. <laughs> he looks down, because <laughs> he was like admonishing Lancer the entire time, acting like he's the big man in the room. The wife shows up, he's like, yes, dear, can't make eye contact. But thanks to Lancer's charm, raising up women, she immediately folded, which I thought was hilarious. Lancer is too fucking good, man. Kiritsugu, I'm surprised that he evacuated the building. I thought that, like, imagine if Kiritsugu didn't evacuate the building and just blew it up. I mean, he's blown up an airplane before. Low key, I might have enjoyed this shit more if I saw innocent children hanging around in the building and then getting blown up thanks to Kiritsugu and just to hi like highlight like his insanity to pursue his goals. So. Kiritsugu, so Kirei versus Maya was very interesting because we haven't seen exactly how Kirei fights. Kirei, Executor, Holy Church, Wolverine, Superhuman Speed, Bro dodged bullets. So, like, is he actually a fucking super soldier? It's looking like it. Luckily, she gets out because maybe Kiritsugu helped. I'm not sure. The last half of the episode was pretty interesting because I'm always fascinated with Gilgamesh, but definitely Kire. What is his own desires? What is he all about? He's kind of matching Gilgamesh's, Gilgamesh's arrogance, I guess. Just like, what's a mere servant want? You're like a king of vulgars. But Kire, I think, is slowly starting to realize what it is that he finally wants. To me, okay, this is basically what's happening here. The analogy is that Kire is a homeschooled kid and Kire has now come to college after being homeschooled through all of high school he meets Gilgamesh who's like frat fucking leader frat party just like the boss and he's like yo Kire come on bro party it up what are you doing you fucking doing nothing with your life pussy party it up and Kire's like well I've been homeschooled all my life I don't know what I want and then, you know maybe slowly he's gonna fucking figure something out that's it for me if you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.